In this video, I'm going to show you how the asset managers uh, stroke institutional managers are back in the, the current Euro move and how they've actually been probably for first in in the belief that the euro will start moving upwards now what i'm looking at is their actual positions this is a commitment of traders report it's uh, produced once a week on a friday it's not quite out yet i just checked for the update it's not out it's not until the uh, later part of uh, the us session uh, but uh, what, what it shows us is their current holdings of long positions and short positions. So if we look at the report in detail here, uh, all I'm interested in this is uh, these two columns. Uh, I'm looking at the long and the short, and then I'm looking at the, as I said, the asset managers uh, institution. I'm not so worried about leverage funds and other reportables, etc. Uh, this is where the big money is. You can see by the size of the positions, uh, they, they've been long and they, they've remained long through uh, a lot of the downward movement. However, uh, they, they, there was a more sizable uh, position on the short side. So they are either hedging. Um, we, we just don't know when they actually start, uh, how, how long some of these positions are held for. So um, they, they could well be, as I said, uh, quite a, quite a long time in advance. Now, uh, in terms of the um, what they're actually doing, uh, we we can look at it on a week by week basis and get a feel for what they're doing, and we can also get an idea of where they are overall and their general trend of what they're doing. Firstly, we can get a net position at any particular time, and it's simply by looking. At the, the numbers here. So on the long side, we've got they've got 388,000 contracts on the long side, and they've got 131,000 on the short side. So that's a, a net bullish position. So the net bullish overall. And the question it still comes to being: Well, why? <laughs> well, um, they they move differently, as I've already explained. Now uh, we we can look at this detail. Uh, we, the, the, other figures I'm looking at is the the what they're actually doing on any given week so we can get an idea of what they're doing and then we can look yes, look in some data in a moment at some graphs below and we'll, we'll see the trend of what they're doing so you can see here last this is the week before last data because it's taken on a, 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 a flash at 12 o'clock uh, so it's it's it, this is this is what happened not uh, recent Tuesday, but the Tuesday before, because I'm waiting for uh, this week's data. Uh, and this is what happened: that 15,000 uh, contracts uh, were sold, were closed, basically, so 15,000 less positions open, and 2,000 more long. Now, when they they build up a position on the short side, gradually we expect those to be reduced, and if if they were really bearish, we'd expect to see their long positions reduced as well. Uh, where we're seeing a case of the reduction in shorts and the building of uh, longs, obviously that's a, bu a bullish week. Now, when we come down here, just go, come down the graph, we can look at what's actually happening with price action and how it's been selling off. Um, they were pretty bullish right the way through until early February. Then these are net positions. Uh, the longs minus the, the shorts basically, so net positions, uh, and they were very be uh, bullish. Um, I say very bullish, pretty bullish up until uh, late latish February, uh, and then they started shifting quite quickly. Um, you find that this this ties up pretty well with what the Feds have been doing, um, and it all it all aligns itself. Um, and the fact that the uh, ECB wasn't doing anything at the time and was kicking the can down the road and kept on doing so, so it sort of uh, the, the the value uh, was re reduced in their opinion of the euro. And of course, we saw selling coming through, and we, we've seen that we saw the selling coming off quite sharply, uh, the, or the, the change in the size of the positions, uh, which we can look at below as well. Then we, we've seen it running right away down. More recently, though, since we, we've seen a bottom on the 30th of August coming in, that was a bottom there. And then since then, we've seen some quite sizable at times movements and steps up in the net position. So the, their bottom really came in at 30th of August. Reality is the, the bottom in the market came in a month later. 
Now one thing to take into account, you can't time what's happening here. It's not a timing tool whatsoever. It just gives that if you think of it as an oil tanker and <laughs> trying to steer an oil tanker, that's what it's like looking at these figures. It takes time. So the only way we can take note of this is we can see them becoming bullish. That gives us the hint, but we can't and we shouldn't be doing anything, I should say, until we, we get into a technical have a technical reason and see that the reasons behind it we can look at that on a chart in a moment i'll look at a cleaner chart than what we're seeing above uh, but this is a weekly chart of what was happening at the time you can see it's it's been coming down however uh, we, we've seen this turn yes it took a little dip in between but overall is it's become more bullish so it's pushed towards the bullish side if we can come down and get an understanding of the positions a little bit more what we can see here is the, the long positions and how uh, they go way back in Feb. That's where they were holding them. Look, 417,000 contracts. Uh, that got reduced uh, to July was the low point on that, down to 368,000 contracts uh, on the long side. But they can also buy short positions. So it's important to understand uh, the peak of uh, this is the size of shorts being held. Uh, so they had ne well, there was nearly 200,000 contracts on the short side uh, back on the 30th of August, and that, they, they've soon been unloaded. Basically, we've seen that those reduced quite significantly. In fact, um, not quite half, but pretty we have quite a, quite 70,000 contracts difference uh, to start with. And what what, what we expect to see. Um, I mean, I don't ever expect it to be zero because they can be used as hedges. They could be, uh, I mean, even back in February when they were bullish, there was still a reasonable size there. So I'm not expecting this to go down to zero or anything like this. But what this really shows is that they're, they're be, they, they've been coming less bearish, <laughs> if anything. And we know from the the uh, the, the um, picture of the they've become more bullish in terms of starting to buy. So one thing it, it is unloading your short positions which is a, a bullish signal because you're thinking it's going to turn around the other thing then is starting to buy and and this is what we're seeing a combination of at the moment and have been seeing a combination really since probably about 4th of October when we've seen or a bit later than that actually did I say the 4th 11th of October when we've seen it more significantly um, and then when we come and look at the charts itself, if we uh, switch this to a weekly view for a moment. So uh, running all the way down to uh, 26th of, uh, of September was the absolute bottom. And then 10th, uh, the 11th of October, I said 10th, there's the 10th of October, um, 11th being the Tuesday. Uh, but th there's th that was the... The, the, the turning point if you like. Now technically so we can see it uh, in terms of the numbers of what they're doing and it's, it's telling us at that point that things are changing. It doesn't mean to say it has changed completely. It can be uh, that we see a little upward move and then it, they, they start selling again but this what we're seeing and have been seeing and it, again as I said it's not timing you've got to wait and if you start looking the signs were starting to come through if we take this down to a daily chart now um, you'll see that the, the, the signs were coming through on that sort of large uh, plunge down there at the end of September into October time uh, initially uh, sorry late late September initially came back and rolled through uh, into uh, later October there, 13th October actually hit the b bottom but there were signs even on this movement here if you, if you look at um, the four hourly picture of this back in early coming back here there we go so this is this is the, the four hourly picture and you can see so we can actually see at an earlier stage where We've got a confirmed higher low coming through in this market, and this this ended up this was the absolute low. So uh, we were seeing this as the absolute low, and since then, yes, it went up and it it sold off quite strongly as we saw uh, much uh, greater um, U.S. Um, movement compared to euro movement. 
and it sold off at that point with the bigger interest rate increases as as however as the european uh, central bank started changing things we've seen the changes through here we come back to it daily it's a bit clearer and uh, the more recent movement there um, has come through looking pretty bullish at that point and then of course we've seen low interest rate a uh, low um, inflation rate coming through lower than expected uh, this week on the uh, 10th yesterday and we've seen the prior uh, the, the euro pushing up quite strong there so it's reacted even further all of that doesn't really make too much difference to us in terms of you just looking purely at the technicals although I'm giving the explanation to what's behind the technicals here so overall um, the, the, their as I say their bottom was around about this point how could we use that where well, we can look for as I say the cracks in the market as we start seeing that coming through we saw a higher low coming in here we could be looking for longs at this point and start trading it um, we, we don't have to stay in the position for weeks and weeks on end we can be obviously uh, quite um, fickle in our own uh, prices we may regret not staying in the position for weeks and weeks on end um, th th however that depends on how you trade it, the the, uh, the principle behind this is understanding the bias of the market compared to what the big money is doing so if we can see the bias of what they're doing we can pick up the technical uh, opportunities and, and look for those technical opportunities in the market itself so there you go. Um, the euro it's looking bullish at the moment. The money's coming in. It, I mean, they could they could have a down a downward week, uh, but there's there's not a lot suggesting that we will see that at the moment. Technically, uh, it's looking more positive. Yes, it might may, may have been pushing up, but what we're seeing is the big money moving in. Quite interestingly, actually, before I finish off here, is to look at what the um, retail traders are doing and I just looked at this on the FX SSI site um, just looking at the sentiment and the average sentiment looks 64 percent short on the euro and this is this is why one of the reasons I talk about it quite often recently why traders are losing money because they're going completely the opposite side of the market and not even looking at what the big money is doing and you could at least be guided can't do a timing as I said the timing of the big money is not for us we've got to wait until the technicals are proving the case well certainly I will um, but this this is as I say this is I mean some of these uh, tr trading um, uh, brokers that have been listed here uh, or sources nearly 80% uh, are, su are suggesting that they're, they're short on this market a market which is uh, pretty much pushing upwards okay on that cheery note I will leave you to it hopefully you find this useful